Hey guys, how you doing? And welcome to my YouTube channel, Give or Lose It. I believe what is not given is lost, and especially knowledge. That's why from 2007 until now, I've been posting guitar video lessons. I'm a self-taught guitarist, and uh, when I started, I was playing only two years. So I was just putting up stuff like um, maybe how to play finger style like that. My actual job is a full-time Latin dancer and dance teacher, but at night I become a guitarist. So let's actually share one of my most asked, uh, I played in many of my own compositions, sometimes in other ways. I don't have it in my old video where I show five different ways of how to play flamenco rumba, which I have it right here, guys. You should check it out. There's many beautiful ways of how to play with your right hand. And um, I put it in the beginning of this video. I'll play it for you one more time. So you see uh, a little bit more of the pattern and then I'll break it down and teach it to you, okay? So be very patient. I am very patient and I like to magnify everything and really analyze. First, let's hear one more time the loop that I did for you today. Okay, so that's not as difficult as it seems. Uh, only the last part where you hear my nail going a double or a triple hit. That took me some time to get the hang of it, but I'll break it down very easily. First, let's start with the chords. Now, just a side note, uh, if you like to find chords, you can open another tab, go to Google or Yahoo, click on images and type down, like now I'm going to say E minor chord or B7 chord. Uh, guitar chord. If you put chord, you usually shows guitar and not piano or anything else. And you can see the shapes and the way they hold them. Find the one that is more common and more easy for you. Or find someone, some position that sounds the same. Make sure it's, it's that chord because sometimes you can't rely on Google showing you everything. So I'm just going to go through an E minor, an A minor 7. An E minor is simply the middle bass and the bottom bass on the second fret. I use my two middle fingers, you can use this index. And then an A minor shape, which uh, you will press your index on the second string uh, on the first fret. Your ring finger, you will lift it up instead of an A minor, it's gonna become a seventh because you lifted that finger up. And keep on the last bass on the fourth string on the second fret. Go back to the E minor, then to a B7. This is not the most easy one I know. And back to the, the B7, I'm actually having my middle badass finger on the second fret on the fifth string. On the fourth string, my index is on the first fret. On the third string, it's my ring finger right on the second fret. The second string is open. And with my pinky, I press down on the second fret again, the last bottom string. This is a, like a blues turnaround and it fits perfectly. And these chords are very nice progression. You can use regular A minor or maybe on the... Or stuff. Now I know I'm not jumping into it. I will have a time frame showing here and here and you can click and go to the lesson, but I do like analyzing all the possibilities that you can do with some of these things. All right, but we're staying on the E minor for now. Uh, it would be even better actually if we mute the strings, don't press hard on them, just touch them with your fingers so we have a dead sound. Let's mute the strings and go up one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can put two fingers in. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. L louder. One, or you can put three. One, 
two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Why do I start up? You'll see right now. Because when we start, we actually start somewhere not in the beginning, I would say, of the sentence. It's down with power, up, down. Down, up, down. Down, up, down. Down, up, down. One, two, three, four. Now you understand the one, two, three, four. We can start one, two, three, four, and then down, up, down, but it just doesn't fit right like that. You start one, one, two, one, two, three, four. One, one, two, one, two, three, four. And the one, two, and the one, two, three, four are always starting on an up stroke and you have only the two down strokes. Every time you have a down stroke, you're gonna learn to hit the thumb, the side of your thumb, okay? So you have that sound, but I'm not going to show that yet because it's more important. Let's take the chord, take only the index so we don't make a lot of noise and go. Try to change through the chord. So. To the E minor, you can play two bars there, like now, B7, you see the faster you go the more rumpa-ish it sound. Now when we hit with this thumb, uh, it's exactly when we hit down with the fingers, every time we go up, so we try to go. interested in the harp technique which is really cool I'm gonna leave a link here and maybe in the description and uh, it's a very nice one you can also use two or three and uh, let's go back into now how do we get a double now you already started playing it maybe you even stopped the video here but if you haven't you're gonna try to get this can you hear that it's like a bounce off. So you gotta have your hands so much relaxed from going to. That's it. I hope I explained it as well as possible, guys. Rewind the video, just see what you need to see again. Uh, I don't think a full, more detailed explanation is needed. It's just one of the many strummings you can have. This one is actually a, a fusion uh, that uh, I've seen and uh, I've done. I also, I would say more, it's my style. I put a little bit of, I've never seen a double or a triple hit here. Uh, uh, toca when they hit, also this one, you get to hear a lot of percussion when you play right here on the bridge. I'll put here also another link so you can check out how I do that one. I hope you guys like it, make sure you comment and rate. And as a dance teacher, unfortunately, uh, the bad news is that my dance school is closed, there is no income, but there are bills. So if you like to help, uh, I have a donation link in the description. It's the first one, guys. Uh, I know you might be going through your own hardships as well, but even five, 10 euros can really help the situation. And hopefully I can find some more time to invest on my guitar channel, which I will never let go. The better I get, the more things I'll have to teach you. And I have some amazing videos coming your way. As soon as I find the time and not running after the dance school, I will throw them towards you. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments below. I would like to know if you like this one and make sure to remember I have in the link 
five more ways how to play the rumba strumming. It's really amazing, really fun, and you can play all your gypsy, sorry, <laughs> gypsy king songs that you like, or flamenco rumba songs, and sing them if you have the voice. Take care, God bless, see you on the next video, guys.